All right, what's up, Smashers? Guess what? Monday after the fight weekend, that was pretty legit. Another grand tour of uh, CSA. Look at this. Ian sleeping and doing mobility, and that's Alyssa. She's about it. She actually kicked my ass in a workout just earlier. It was kind of horrendous. And uh, if I'm shaking, it's all her fault right there. So we're gonna be talking about foot stability. It's super easy, nothing complicated. I'm gonna show you two drills to unload the, uh, the ankle and then one drill that's really gonna help with stabilizing the foot. See, the mechanics of the foot, remember, 26 bones of the human foot. What happens is that foot has to allow, it's, it's gotta be allowed to adapt to the terrain you're walking around in no matter what you're doing. By the way, strong leg bolt. Um, it has to adapt to the terrain, but like 10 million times a second, those 26 bones are designed to move. So when you take a piece of plastic orthotic, shove that into the heel cup of your shoe and think that's making things better, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not making it better. It's making it worse because you're binding up the way the foot is designed to move. I don't care what somebody says, I will go toe to toe with them all day long. Your foot is designed to move a certain way and you take 10 to 15,000 steps a day Though the foot sends proprioceptive input up into the brain that many times uh, a second, and so that's designed to help you stand up and balance. So if your gait is just completely hijacked and you, you look like a, like a baby fawn or something running around, you know what the problem is, is you have a mechanical issue, hip, knee, ankle. So remember, we're gonna talk about mobility, stability, flexibility, and strength. And now all those things together, Everybody, I mean, the buzzwords mobility, the buzzwords flexibility. Mobility is basically uh, full range of motion under load. That's, that's mobility. Now, flexibility is just the ability to lengthen, lengthen tissue. Strength is just the ability to shorten and create force. And then we have stability, which is your ability to hold a position under uh, ex external forces. So forces that are changing the way you are, you need to be able to hold your position regardless so you have an adaptive uh, force generation against something that's trying to basically knock you out of position. So I'm gonna show you a really cool drill to unload how your, uh, how your foot stability works. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a band. Of course, I gotta walk around here. So listen, we're just gonna take a tour of CSA. Walk around just a little bit. Why? Well, because it's important. And I'm gonna show you two easy drills. You ever watch those cameras that come by on drones and they just come by like this? Doesn't that kind of look like that? I think that's pretty cool. So here, listen, this is the drill you're gonna do. You're gonna do two things, really important, really easy, and they're gonna regain a lot of the mobility of the ankle, and then I'm gonna show you some, some stability for the ankle. We're gonna do it all without shoes. So check this out. We take a band, wrap it around. So there's a bone at the front of the foot. I was just talking to Jackie about it. It's called a talus. So we undo shoes at the Bachmeyer household. Why? Why is you wreck the back of your shoe and you look retarded? So what we do is we're gonna do two things. Front of the ankle, back of the ankle, that's it, real easy. So we take the talus, or we take the, uh, the band, we load up the talus. So the talus is at the ankle crease. We load up the front, that retinaculum, that talus, load it up like crazy. You see the band is pulling this way. What you wanna do is you wanna push the knee out, grab the foot, create an arch there, keep your foot and your heel and everything on the ground, and then force the knee forward. So I'll show you from the side. So I'm loading the band up, the band is gonna drag the talus into, uh, into position, and we're gonna load up and take this and push it out so your knee stays in the proper position and your heel stays anchored on the ground. That's number one, two minutes, right? Number two is just flip that shiz around. So step into the back, same thing, we're gonna regain some of the slide in that ankle, but from the posterior side now. So, same thing, load up the band, get inside. Now the band is pulling on the posterior portion, so it's sliding that tibia and fibula over that talus, and just hang out for how long? Two minutes. That's number two. Number three is the fun one. What you do is you, remember, no shoes, okay? You're gonna grab onto something, get your bearings, you're gonna go into a squat. Now I did a truckload of rowing, courtesy of Alyssa, it's all her fault, and you're gonna get onto one foot, okay? So you're gonna work on your balance, except now you're gonna close your eyes. And you're gonna stay like that for two minutes in a partial squat. So you're gonna go in a quarter to two-thirds squat, drop down, okay? I almost ate it right there. And you can feel my foot wobbling around. Close the eyes, stay like that two minutes. When you're done, come back out, do the same thing on the other side. That's gonna train your foot to be stable more than any drill you'll ever do. It's just that easy. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, hanging out at CSA. I will check you guys out tomorrow. Peace.